Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever type it may be. And the new patch notes for the new 1.08 update in Black Ops Cold War just went live. I'm going over everything that changed in this new update. Now, do not forget, if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all Black Ops Cold War news, Modern Warfare news, Warzone news, make sure you guys absolutely smash like on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications there were a lot of things changed within this update including new dlc weapons added a new warzone map and a lot more so with all being said let's get right into going over everything that changed within this new 1.08 update in black ops cold war so you guys can see here, this is going to be the start of season one they're going to be doing weapon tuning adding new weapons and a lot more so you guys can see here we're also be getting a battle pass. Now, this is no surprise. It's going to be in a 100 tier battle pass. You get the MAC-10 SMG, which is a new DLC weapon at tier 15. And you also get the Groza Assault Rifle, which is a new DLC weapon at tier 31. You're also going to be getting Operator Skins, Weapon Blueprints, War Tracks, 1300 COD points, as well as double XP tokens. So they're following the same exact pattern and the same exact blueprint as the Modern Warfare and Warzone battle pass did last year which in my opinion is a good thing it's transparent and if you guys actually go ahead and complete the entire battle pass you get that a thousand cod points that it does cost back plus additional 300 cod points so essentially the battle fast is free in a way now it's also going to be a, as far as cross game progression players progression will be synchronized across black ops cold war warzone and modern warfare at the start of season one based on your current season level in black ops cold war all previous unlocks in black ops cold war and modern warfare weapons perks score streaks kill streaks will remain unlocked a thousand new season levels available at the start of season one after completing military ranks so essentially, you can rank up this battle pass in Modern Warfare Multiplayer, Warzone, as well as Black Ops Cold War. Now, what's also cool about this is there's going to be a thousand levels added to as well, Modern Warfare Multiplayer, Warzone, as well as Cold War. So there's a lot of things to be accomplished and a lot of things to do, which is absolutely insane. And again, kind of strengthening that Modern Warfare Year 2 kind of, you know, movement. Now, season one progression. Level 50, you get a new prestige emblem, prestige key, weapon blueprint, battle pass tier skip. Prestige level or level 100, you get a new prestige emblem, prestige key, battle pass tier skip. The same thing. And then once you get to level 200, you get a new prestige emblem, uh, prestige key, battle pass tier skip, prestige master calling card, and all season challenges unlocked. And level 250 to 1,000, you get a new prestige key unlocked every 1,000 levels. Again, these are all going to be unlocked through playing three games if you guys you know want to now the seasonal challenges you get a unique set of 20 challenges for both multiplayer and zombies the new challenges unlock every 10 season levels and you can complete these you know within whatever game you play which is awesome now operator missions all the operators that are coming to the game are going to have their own specific missions you guys can complete to unlock new challenges as well as new character skins uh, you can play, like I said, multiplayer, zombies, warzone, whatever you guys want to get these unlocked. Stability, they added various stability fixes across the board for console and PC, and they also fixed a lot of UI issues. So there's going to be also new maps coming to Black Ops Cold War. The maps are going to be Pines, which is going to be a 6v6 map coming to Core and Hardcore map rotation in Season 1. Raid, which is going to be a remake map from Black Ops 2, is coming. It's going to be a 6v6 map. It's coming to Core and Hardcore in rotation for Season 1. Nuketown 84 Holiday, a remake of the Nuketown that we already have. It's going to be coming literally the same way raid and pines are coming and it's also going to be in a 24 7 playlist it's going to be replacing the original nuketown as you guys can see right here we're also getting some gunfight maps uh game show icm icbm uh uban and kgb we got a nuketown 84 where they're going to be going ahead and adjusting the spawns to reduce spawning in longer lines of sight to reduce spawn trapping and they adjusted spawns in and around mid map to reduce spawn trapping Again, gunfights, they're adding prop punt, they're fixing the spawns in hard point, fixing the spawns in domination, free for all, if we we're not spawning in to games that are already in progress, search and destroy, they're fixing the bomb search and destroy, control, they're going ahead and fixing things search and destroy, VFP escort, fire team, custom game CDL, 
and a lot of you know other changes now for the featured playlists uh raid the mall available at the start of season one including a mosh pit of 66 game modes on raid and the pines so it's going to be a 66 mosh pit on raid the dlc or the remake map as well as pines one of these dlc maps as well gunfight it's going to be available at the start of season one and prop punt it's also going to be available at the start of season one these are going to be the game modes in the feature tab for black ops cold war now you guys can see here holiday 84 it's going to be a 24 7 playlist now you guys can see here for the weapons they added the mac 10 smg again this is going to be unlocked at tier 15 they also have the grows assault rifle which is also going to be locked at tier 31 within this battle pass the AK-47, they did some weapon tuning. They reduced the headshot multiplier, and they also reduced the damage for 20-inch Spetsnaz RPK barrel. So the AK-47 received a nerf. Not really a hard nerf, but it did receive a nerf. The Krig-6 reduced the headshot multiplier, so the Krig-6 is also getting a nerf. I don't think the Krig-6 was overpowered at all, so I'm kind of curious as to why they did this. The FFAR-1, they increased the damage ranges, and they also reduced the recoil. For the submachine guns, the Milano 821, they increased the damage range. For the KSP, they also increased the damage range. For the Bullfrog, they also increased the damage range on the Bullfrog as well. So the SMGs are receiving a buff. I'm pretty, you know, curious as to why they didn't touch the MP5 with the 74U. They said they were going to, but I guess they decided not to do it, which in, which in you know, reality is a very good thing. Now for the tactical rifles, um, they went ahead and they nerfed the M16's maximum uh, effective range, and they also reduced the fire rate. For the attack rifle Charlie, this is going to be the AUG, if you guys are unaware. They reduced the headshot multiplayer, they reduced the maximum effective range, and they also reduced the fire rate, and they also in they reduced the damage for the 9.8-inch Task Force barrel. So for the uh, attachments across the tactical rifles, they adjusted barrel attachments to improve uh, fire rates, uh, the improved fire rates for tactical rifles. So they're going ahead and slowing down how fast you can burst and also fire the tactical rifles, which in my opinion, you know, is probably a good buff, especially for the burst weapons. Now for the um, light machine guns, the M60, it has increased ADS speed and also has increased weapon swap speeds. Now for the snipers, um, sniper rifle Charlie increased damage multiplier for upper chest to allow for a one hit kill without attachments. Uh, 26 point or 22.86 uh, target team barrel will now increase the one hit kill zone to upper arms and they adjust the recoil for higher uh, shot power. Now for the Magnum, they increased effective damage ranges and they also increased the fire rate again. The Magnum received another buff here in Black Ops Cold War. For the shotguns, the Howard 77, they decreased the damage ranges, and they also decreased the range for the 25.2 Task Force Barrel. Now, for the shotgun Bravo, this is going to be the Gallo SA-12, aka the Spaz-12. They, they decreased damage ranges, they decreased the fire rate, and they also increased or they decreased the damage range for the 24.8-inch Task Force Barrel. For the attachments, adjusted barrel tasks that improve fire rates for shotguns, and generally they reduce the amount of player kickback when being damaged by bullet weapons. So they went, they went ahead and they reduced the flinch across the board when you're getting shot at by other guns, which is good. Now, perks, flak jacket, reduced explosive damage mitigation, so flak jacket received a nerf. Uh, forward intel increase the viewable minimap error so they're going to be buffing forward intel ninja remove protection for field mic don't know why they did that that was a stupid nerf uh spycraft they added full immunity to the field mic detection i guess they're going to go ahead and remove that you know ability from ninja to spycraft which is kind of cool i guess um uh, the frag grenade it got a buff it slightly increased the damage molotov slightly increased damage and the stem shot reduced reduced heal speed. So they nerfed the stem shot, but they're gonna buff the grenades. I don't know, Treyarch. Uh field mic no longer detects users who are crouch walking, ADS walking, or swimming. Yes, finally nerfing the field mic. Gas mine. Increased damage. Remove detonation delay. Reduce how much a player will be slowed down when affected by the get. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not reading the rest of that garbage. Uh score streaks. They added the harp, which is the V set. They, they fixed the cruise missile and the R60. They fixed that as well. Um, and they went ahead and fixed up pretty much, pretty much a bunch of other, you know, changes and upgrades within, you know, Modern Warfare, or excuse me, Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War. 
these are the patch notes for the new 1.08 update that just went live here in Black Ops Cold War. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Honestly, I was expecting a little bit more as far as weapon tuning. And I'm kind of curious as to why they buff certain things and also why they nerf certain things in this game. We're going to have to see how this does play out. But in all reality, honestly, I'm really excited to see this Warzone Cold War integration and how, you know, the weapons are going to operate in Warzone because that's where, you know, in my opinion, where my focus is going to be at. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. And if you guys did, make sure you guys have a great rest of your day and make sure you guys absolutely smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. If you guys made it this far into the video, odds are you are enjoying the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough. Now, if you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.30 p.m. Central Time, I am live streaming Black Ops Cold War over on Caffeine.tv. Caffeine is a live streaming service that features a lot of popular Call of Duty content creators. As you guys can see here, Raid Away is live right now on Caffeine and he actually just dropped a nuclear. Now, if you guys want to watch me play Black Ops Cold War live and also potentially jump and play a few games with me, all you have to do is download the Caffeine app or you guys can type caffeine.tv in the Google search bar. The app is available on Android as well as iOS. Now once you guys actually get to the Caffeine website or like I said, download the mobile app, you can go to the search bar and type in ears. Now my Caffeine profile is literally caffeine.tv slash ears. Exactly what you guys see on my YouTube channel is what you're going to see here on the Caffeine profile. My Account is verified so you guys know it is 110% me. So if you guys want to go ahead, chill in the live streams, play some Black Ops Cold with me, or just support me as a creator, make sure you guys download the Caffeine app, click on the link at the top of the description of this video, and come hang out in the streams.